Hello, here's Hannah. Welcome in new series related to books on business analysis, um, management, psychology, everything uh, which can be related to uh, what you are doing uh, during your business analysis activities and so which may be helpful at your work. Um, what else can we start with uh, if not be a book guide? So this position is mandatory on every shelf of business analyst. Business analysis body of knowledge. Uh, so this is set of good practices uh, for business analysts um, released by IIBA, International Institute of Business Analysis. And this is, I believe, the oldest organization for business analysts uh, set up uh, like more than 10, less than 20 years ago in Canada. Uh, it is a worldwide organization uh, having uh, many chapters all over the world, many uh, thousands of members, uh, individual member, members and also uh, company, uh, companies uh, have uh, memberships in this organization. This book uh, was not written by uh, one or a few uh, smart people, uh, but uh, it was uh, prepared uh, as a draft and then consulted with uh, um, hundreds or, or thousands uh, analysts all over uh, the world. So um, after before releasing in this uh, uh, official version, uh, it was consulted, read, commented, changed. Uh, as, uh, as people agreed, okay, this is a worldwide standard of good practices of uh, mm, related good practices related to a business analysis. This is version three. Uh, it was released uh, 2015. I remember that day. I was uh, waiting for it. Uh, I couldn't wait to, to see what's inside. Uh, and it appeared that it is uh, it is twice as uh, as huge as it was before. Uh, Five hundred pages. What can we find inside? We have chapters related to uh, business analysis key concepts. Um, so we learn a bit about some definitions about concepts uh, which we need to understand before we continue. Uh, then we have six knowledge areas, knowledge areas and tasks related to business analysis. Uh, so those are areas in which you, you, you may work uh, as a business analyst. Business analysis planning and monitoring, this is first area. And then we have elicitation uh, and collaboration, elicitation of requirements, collaboration with stakeholders, uh, requirements, life cycle management. Uh, the next one is strategy analysis, and this is particularly interesting for me. Uh, I will tell you in a minute why. Uh, requirements analysis and design definition. And uh, last uh, knowledge area is solution eva evaluation. I really, uh, I love this position. I love this book because it's so complete, it's so wide and uh, it shows how many different aspects you need to consider while working as a business analyst. So uh, starting from mm, uh, the strategy analysis, I think it's uh, crucial to understand which problems the company has and what are the sources of uh, projects we are working. So is it uh, should it help to, to some mm, issues in the organization? So. Uh, Focusing on strategy analysis, we will learn the sources of, uh, of our work and what is also uh, very important, it's solution evaluation. So it means that after the product is released, it doesn't mean that our work is finished because we need to, uh, we need to check uh, whether the solution is helpful for a customer, for the company, for uh, its users. And only then we can see whether uh, we could uh, make some improvements that the actual business goal would be met. So I think uh, that this book is especially valuable because it's so wide and it shows the whole spectrum of uh, things that we should consider. Um, and in comparison to other books, I miss uh, sometimes this uh, Mm, that uh, other books uh, are more narrow, so maybe show uh, some aspects in more details. But here, um, 
I perceive this book as a map, a map of uh, business analysis in general and everything uh, what uh, I was doing uh, in my in my profession, in my uh, career, starting uh, from working in very different environments, like doing a software uh, for customers, uh, for ourselves in our company, making products, uh, working as uh, uh, one team member of uh, business analysts uh, team as uh, um, only one analyst uh, in the project and also right now as strategy uh, analyst no matter where and uh, what I'm actually uh, what I actually do anytime I can cover um, my activities with this book this is a great uh, map that show you how how brilliant and big uh, uh, this uh, profession is. Uh, what's more is valuable in this, in this position is uh, that we have underlying competencies. So you can learn from this book uh, which skills, knowledge, uh, traits uh, you need to have to be uh, effective as a business analyst. Uh, later we have long chapter uh, consisting of uh, techniques, 50 analytical techniques Maybe those are not everything that you uh, can hear on the market uh, about some uh, various techniques, but uh, still I think it's a great basis and uh, knowing all of them, you will have a great uh, tool, tool set to work with uh, many problems. And the last chapter is re uh, related with perspectives. Uh, so you can uh, work more in agile perspective, in IT perspective, um, business intelligence, uh, business architecture or business process management. So whatever you are doing and uh, it is somehow related to business analysis, I think it's great position and you should have it, you should read it. Uh, it's uh, really very, very valuable, uh, especially for me, but I believe it might be also of use uh, to you. Um, this book, maybe it's not uh, that you read it fascinated and you cannot sleep because it's, you know, so you are so curious what will be on the next page. Uh, some chapters uh, are described in some, uh, with some, uh, in some schematical way. So, you know, that there is a purpose, there is description, there are tools, uh, there are uh, stakeholders, some hints. So there is uh, some uh, concrete, uh, template how uh, different uh, chapters uh, are described but still I haven't seen anything uh, else on the market which uh, is comparable to this one because this is a wor worldwide standard because it's so uh, broad uh, and uh, it gives you great basis uh, to to know what uh, the profession is about so uh, I really recommend uh, to to read it What's more, uh, maybe it's worth to know that this book is a basis for a uh, certification program of IIBA. So you can be certified uh, with, maybe you've heard about certifica uh, certificates like uh, CBAP, C uh, CBAP, uh, ACBA. <laughs> uh, so those are certifications uh, for different uh, levels of uh, advancement, like for entry level analysts, uh, for medium and uh, mm, uh, people with uh, five years experience. So mm, this is also a basis for the certification if you would like to take one. What's more, this is set of good practices. So from time to time uh, I hear that uh, oh, uh, there is a standard of business analysis. So you work agile, you need to go through all of those steps, step by step. It is. Uh, already mm, designed how you should do, do the analysis. Uh, no, <laughs> this is set of good practices. So it means that there are things that you need to consider, like for example, uh, do stakeholder analysis, but it's not, uh, it doesn't uh, tell you, you should uh, do stakeholder analysis at this point in time and you cannot go back uh, because it's waterfall. Uh, it's nothing like that. It's just, uh, things that they are worth to to be considered and worth to be done and there is not uh, there is no concrete order this is the one uh, proper order you you can do those uh, activities uh, 
uh, what's more, uh, observing some agile uh, projects, some um, agile teams, companies, I can see that sometimes uh, we miss this uh, basic knowledge related to uh, goals of organizations, problems, analyzing uh, processes, uh, knowing how to gather requirements, how to prioritize them. So those are very um, general problems, general things that we need to know and uh, uh, and be, uh, have the skill to, to do them, uh, no matter uh, in which environment we are working, which type of projects, it's simply related to how we uh, how we analyze uh, software, what we need to know, uh, what we need to consider. Like for example, don't uh, forget about uh, uh, informing uh, important stakeholders. So it's nothing like that. That this is against uh, agile or something like that. And there is also a nice um, addition uh, prepared by IABA Agile Extension to be able guide. So this is also interesting and uh, might be uh, of interest uh, for you. Okay, so uh, thank you uh, for watching it. Uh, I hope it will be as much uh, helpful for you as it was for me for the last 10 years and probably will be for the next 30. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. You will enjoy it. See you in next episode. Bye bye.